hi guys welcome to salesforce troop and in this video we'll talk about summer 22 release uh, feature that is lightning prompt and we'll understand how lightning prompt work and when to use the lightning prompt so basically whenever there is a requirement where you have to take users input before doing some action will go with the lightning prompt and it's a new base component introduced by the lwc and in the previous video we already covered the lightning alert and lightning confirm if you haven't seen that you can go and watch that as well so let's go to the vs code and create a new component and here this time we'll give the name to our component lightning prompt demo hit enter it will create a new component inside the lwc folder We'll go with the same basic concept first we'll expose our component to a lightning app page so make sure it is exposed is true target is lightning app page but it can be anything like lightning record page home page utility flow anything that you want okay now let's come back to our html first we'll create a lightning card so that it looks good on the screen we'll give the title we'll say lightning from demo and inside this we're going to create a lightning button and in the lightning button we'll give the label prompt just now we'll give this label and that's it let's deploy this component and make sure this component is placed perfectly on the correct lightning page i'm on my summer 22 lightning page i'll go to the gear icon click on edit page and here i'll search for my name lightning from demo place it to the third column hit save come back and button is placed perfectly i just want this button not to touch the border so what we're gonna do is we'll place one class to the button is a class slds where margin around small so it's up to us whether to put the var or not but sometimes it throws a warning on the vs code that's why i put var but with this without this also it will work you see it immediately through a warning we can it's okay to go with var keyword okay so now button is there now the next step is i want to Call the open the lightning prompt on click of a button so i'll create a handler here prompt handler process and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that method prompt handler here and inside this method we're gonna call our lightning prompt and before Calling that uh, lightning prompt, we have to import that. So we'll say lightning from make sure the LNP is capital and from module lightning prompt. Okay, as I mentioned, we use prompt whenever we have to take the user action. Uh, we want the user to give some input basically and then do based on that input we perform some action okay so approach is similar to lightning confirm and alert we'll call the lightning prompt and their method like this object method open open will take certain parameters basic one is message i will say please enter your page okay and it will return something so to cast that either you can create a variable result and let's print console dot result let's see if it gives any result or not okay let's deploy this refresh the page let's open the inspect element as well it's not yet refresh 
because the styling is not yet been applied. Now it's applied. Let's go to console, clear the console. Let's hit on prompt. So now you see that I have just passed the message and that message is used as the label of the input field and we want like uh, the label to be customized here instead of prompt but if you don't pass your label of the prompt it will take by default prompt similar to alert and confirm in that case they use alert and confirm as the default label of the dialog box and if I click OK nothing happened but in the console you can see it returned the promise right and we already know to get the data from the promise we have two options either to go with a sync method that will wait for a wait I think spelling is wrong here okay and await and now what will happen whenever this method gets called it will store the data then only will go to the next line okay so it prints the result let's deploy this and you can go with the then approach as well there is nothing wrong in that i mostly prefer then but because in their document they have used async and await many people might think i'm teaching wrong that's why i'm going with the documentation approach but i'll show you then as well in a minute so let's refresh this prompt i'll say some number I'll say okay now you see whatever i entered it print that number when i click okay but if i print put some number and click cancel it print it null so it tells us whenever you press okay something will come if not it means it's null okay and without a sync and await what we can do is just for your reference purpose i'll comment this out and i'll place the same method again at the bottom i'll remove the async keyword here I'll remove the await keyword here and here what we're gonna do is we'll use then method and then we don't need to store the result even here we'll say then whatever the result comes in that result okay and everything that you will perform inside this it will run only after that prompt action is completed okay let's deploy this just to make sure our then approach is working or not so there is nothing wrong and right in this it's all about how comfortable you are with think and await approach or the then, then approach let's clear the console press put some character and it's printing it's working perfectly fine okay now let's create a small project i would say a basic demo so what we're gonna do is we'll say okay we'll create a small use case here in which we'll say we'll check the voting eligibility okay and i'll check whenever this pop-up will open i'll ask please enter your age and based on that age i will print if result is there and if it is null it will not go to the second operation right and i'll see if result is there and number of result because whatever you enter in the input field it is a string but when we have to compare it with the number we have to convert that string to a number i'll say if that result uh, like your age is greater than 18 on the console will print Today you are eligible and if he put empty or something like he didn't enter something then it will go for else okay and we'll say console dot log sorry you are not eligible so let's deploy this Let's refresh the page. And let's click on voting eligibility. Enter your age. I'll say 
12 and click OK. Sorry, you are not eligible because 12 is less than 18. Let's put 20 and OK. Hooray, you are eligible. So that's how you can play around with it. OK. So what I want the next feature is I want this text to be changed and for that what I'm going to do is I'll pass the next property here that is label and I'll say check your vote voting eligibility as the heading of my prompt. Okay then the label and I want some theme to be there. Theme and the mistake that I did it should be colon and the theme right now it's transparent with the stripe but we, we have still success that will give you a green right and then I'll just put the again what themes we have success warning warning orange color success green color error for red color and info for gray color okay and Now what we can do is let's check, let's deploy it and see if it's working or not. So whenever I click on that button, it show me a message with the label check your voting eligibility and message for the input field that please enter your age and the background will be success. I missed the one S, so let's deploy it again. Let's go back. And let's open the ring capacity. You can see on click of button, it immediately give me the green color because I have set the theme as success. If you want any other color, orange, red, or you can check error, warning, or info. And here, whatever I enter, I'll say 23. Say, Hooray, you are eligible. So that's how it's working. And now another like suppose you want uh, you have a scenario where you want this data to be populated by default. So what you can do is there is another property called default value. Okay. So default value by default it's empty, but you want the default value to be 30. Let's see number is coming by default or not I click on voting eligibility now you can see 30 is coming by default and the focus is there just for the accessibility purpose if I click cancel it take it as a null sorry you are not eligible but it's up to us how we want to handle it right so it's it's just a demo that I'm showing you like with the OK, it will tell you you are eligible. And on this itself, you can open the alert as well. Like if you have a scenario, like I just want to open an alert with some message and label that you can do that. So let's create a method just to demonstrate lighting alert with a prompt. So we'll say alert handler and it will receive a message label and team and we're gonna call lightning alert dot open and in this lightning alert open we it's an we'll pass an object and which will be message then label then theme this is a shorthand notation and if you get confused, you can pass this as well. Message label and theme. Okay, and this should be comma. Okay, so now what we want is whenever if greater than 18, we'll call this alert handler, we'll pass the message. Hooray, you are eligible. That's our message. Then we have to pass the label, and label will pass as success, and then we'll pass the theme. Theme is success. Okay. 
similarly i'll copy this so now we are calling an alert from a prompt and here because i am not performing any further action after this so i'm not using async and await okay and here i'll say sorry you are not eligible here in the header will pass error and color will be team basically will be error okay so let's remove this console and we have to import the lightning alert as well before using this so we'll say import lightning alert from lightning alert so let's deploy this and see whether our app works or not I click on voting eligibility 30 say ok it immediately say success for a you are eligible and if I say see and say ok immediately error comes this is alert sorry you are not eligible so that's how you can play around with this notification so these three were the main base component and that introduced in the summer 22 so I hope you like this video I'll share the link of sign up form for the summer 22 pre-release and play around with it. and if you have any question please ask me in the comments thank you